Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to work with keyframes and create custom animations inside of Create Studio. So what we want to do is go ahead and first create a position animation. And I've just gone ahead and added a circle from the shape menu over here. So if you want to go ahead and do this with me, you can. So I've added my shape layer over here. And what I want to do is create, first of all, a position animation. So I'm going to move this shape, first of all, and place it over here. And I'm just going to align it vertically so that it comes in on the same path and lands in the center. So what I want to do is now go ahead and create a position animation. So I'm going to go to add animation. I'm going to go to properties and set the position animation activated on this layer. Okay. So now at zero seconds on the timeline, you can see I've got these keyframes at zero seconds. The shape is at this position on the canvas. So what we need to do now is set the second position or the end position of this shape. Okay, so I'm going to first go ahead and bring it up to one second. And with this keyframe selected, I'm going to go ahead and move this now and set the end position over in the center. Okay, so now at one second, this shape is in the center of the canvas. And before at zero seconds, it was at this position over here. So that's how you can go ahead and create a simple position animation like so. You can also adjust the duration. So let's say we want it to take two seconds to go from here to here. You can just move that keyframe over and you'll be able to see now the animation's a lot slower. What we can also do is adjust the easing of this animation. And basically the easing is the type of movement or the speed in which the animation moves. Okay, so if we want this animation to go at one set speed, I can simply select a linear animation like this. And what this will do is the animation will go from zero to two seconds and this shape will move at the exact same speed and will stop like so. Now, if we want this animation to be a little bit different, what we could do is have it go fast, slow, then fast like this. See how it goes slow, fast, then slow like that. So I select that circ one you can see that the animation moves a lot differently, okay? What we can also do is just apply the easing to the end of the animation by simply selecting out. And if I go ahead and let's say choose back, it's gonna create this animation where it goes over and then it comes back in, okay? So let's preview that. And if I make it a bit faster, you will be able to see it a bit better. So let's say one second and it goes like so, so it goes up and back. And last one, if I go ahead and select the elastic one, and I'm just gonna bring this up to two seconds because it's quite fast, and I'll preview this. You can see I've got a really nice elastic looking animation. So what I'm gonna do now is remove the animation, and I'm just gonna center this shape. And what I wanna do with this one is create a scale animation. And I might also create a, actually, a, I'm gonna go grab a square I'm going to bring these borders down like this. And I'm going to create a scale and a rotation animation for this shape. So what I'm going to do is select the shape. And instead of clicking on this button, I'm just going to use the keyboard shortcuts S and R. And what that's going to do is activate the scale and rotation properties. And you're about to see if you go over to the keyboard shortcuts, you're about to see how you can use some of these quick shortcuts to speed up your animating. So now I've added two keyframes with scale and rotation added onto them. I'm going to go ahead and adjust this position. So at this position on the timeline, so let's say one second on the timeline, the shape is going to be this size and also it's going to be in this rotation. But now I'm going to go ahead and adjust the starting position at zero seconds. And at zero seconds, I want it to be rotated like this. And I also want it to be 0% scaled, okay? And let's see what it looks like. Cool. So you can see that it's scaling in and it starts like this and it scales and rotates in. Maybe I can go ahead and adjust those borders slightly. And that looks really cool. So I can also go ahead and adjust the easing again. And you could have something like back. And let's just preview this and it looks really nice. So that's just a quick tutorial on how to use keyframes to create custom animations. 
Now, if you're new to animating and you want to try something a little bit simpler for your animations, a great way to start is with motion presets. So I'm going to go and grab a square. And what you can do is if you go to motion, you both see we've got these preset animations, which are really cool because you can simply just select one and it'll add it onto your layer with just a click. So let's say we want to go ahead and create the same type of animation. What we can do is go to, let's say, backup, and I'll preview this. You can see we've got that really nice looking bouncing type animation. And if we want to create that rotation as well, what we can do is simply select the animation preset, go to advanced settings and adjust the rotation. So this is basically adjusting the starting rotation. And you're about to see now I've got that same animation with just a couple of clicks. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to go ahead and try it out for yourself. And as always, have fun creating.